As you know, in real life having all KPIs in one table is sometimes not possible. Often you need to work with complex models and then transform your data for your reporting needs. So let's take a look at uh, such an example. So what you see here is we have our dimension tables, so the calendar and product at the top, and then we have them connected to our different fact tables here. So we have the web, finance and subscriptions data all in separate tables. So what we need to do here is we need to uh, consolidate the KPIs to a single table. And how we can do this uh, is by leveraging Power Query. So let's jump into Power Query by clicking here on Transform Data. So for this to work, we need to append the tables, right? And for this to work, we need to have the same structure in all three tables. So we have our date columns, our product ID, our scenario but by which we uh, differentiate our actual plan and forecast data. And then we have uh, here already consolidated the KPIs. So we have all our KPIs in the KPI name column and then we see the values. But in this next table, we have our trials and sessions as separate columns. So what we need to do here is we need to unpivot the data. So if we select both columns, we can simply right click on, on any of the columns and click unpivot only selected columns. And now this will separate the KPIs into this attribute field and then the values into the value column. So the next thing we need to do is we need to name the columns the same. So what we'll do here is we'll simply rename this to KPI underscore name. Make sure that we also have the same structure in the third table, so the subscriptions. It is correct. And now what we can do is we can simply select all three of the tables and under the home tab you see this option of append queries. And here we can simply click on it and say append queries as new. So this will create a separate table that has everything consolidated. And we select here this option of three of more tables. The finance is already selected. And we simply add in the web and subscriptions and click OK. But this now creates duplicates of both uh, of the values. So what we need to do here is we simply rename this to the cards KPI table. And now if we right click on those three previous tables, we can disable the load. So uncheck the enable load marker here on both on all three tables. and hit OK. So now we can close and apply and let's see what happens with the model. OK, the three previous tables have disappeared from the Power BI uh, interface and we have all our KPIs consolidated. Now the last thing that we need to do here is we need to connect them with our dimension tables. So we'll simply drag and drop the date field to the calendar and the same for the product ID. And now our data is connected. What we need to do next is create the measures for the different scenarios. So we go into the cards KPI table, click on any field and simply uh, go into this uh, table view and simply create new measure. Make sure again that you're on the correct table, create new measure, and we'll create a simple calculate measure, for example, AC equals calculate, and then sum of values, and we filter, let's close the parentheses, and we then filter the, it by the scenario. So for actuals we write in the AC and parentheses and hit enter. So in order to not uh, just 
writing uh, the same measure again, we can simply duplicate it by copying the existing measure, creating new measure, and do the same for plan. And here is a really nice trick. If you want to find and replace uh, in DAX, you can simply click Control Shift L and just write in now the plan, PL for plan, and hit enter. We have already created now the measures for plan. And let's do the same for the forecast. Write in measure, control shift L, forecast. And we have all three measures now prepared. So now all that we need to do is visualize the data. So let's jump into the report view. We have our Zebra BI cards here. And let's start with our time trends. So we'll add a month to the category. We'll add in our actual data to the values. And we already get uh, visualizations here, nice chart. Then we add in our plans and the forecast. And this is already fine. Now, all that remains is adding those uh, group KPIs into the placeholder. So we place the KPI name into the group placeholder. And now we have all our KPIs displayed at the same time. Of course, we can now uh, do the transformation. So the increasing costs uh, is to label them as a bad thing. We can rearrange those uh, cards. So if I drag and drop, we can, we can rearrange them. Um, but there is a limitation here. So for the subscriptions here, and, and other non-additive measures, there is a problem because we cannot display them as uh, just a sum, summed up value. And for uh, measures such as this, so for subscriptions, for market shares, for ratios, uh, this is not the optimal solution. For that, you would have to go into the DAX. And this is the next example that we will be showing.